suffering from a relatively summer across the water into Scandinavia. We've also had some quite poor weather over the last few weeks, and it's Stavanger that's caught a packet of rain over the last 24 hours, 41 millimetres or so falling in that space of time. And still, with areas of low pressure close enough by, a large part of northern Europe is going to see some more rain. The first band of heavy rain moving away from southern Norway and southern Sweden, so hopefully it'll brighten up a little bit, but also a few showers coming and going. That's tomorrow's forecast. Now, further south, this is the camera we've got out across Zurich Lake. It's a beautiful afternoon, a lot of sunshine to come, and the satellite picture does show for much of Europe, down into Spain and Portugal, the Mediterranean is just about cloud-free, and some pretty good temperatures. Bordeaux at 31 Celsius, this is Wednesday's forecast. The same for Spain and Portugal, all the way across into the Mediterranean, there's a lot of fine dry weather, but the top temperature in Athens of 35 degrees Celsius. Well, it's not that warm back home, and in fact, it's a much cooler, fresher feel to the air. We've also got a few showers in Scotland and Northern Ireland, but here's this more persistent band of rain we've been watching has been pushing into Western Wales and the West Country. Now, if I mix in the satellite picture, we can see that actually the skies are clear just in front of that, and for a large part of southern and eastern England, it's really a very pleasant afternoon this is the shot out across london beautiful blue skies and very pleasant temperatures it's a bit breezy though but the wet weather further out to the west is slowly moving in and it has produced some quite heavy bursts over the last few hours so for much of wales and western england this afternoon there could be some quite tricky driving conditions with those heavier bursts of rain now this afternoon that main rain band will gradually push its way eastwards and break up as it does so elsewhere a scattering of showers and temperatures reaching between 18 and 23 warmest where we hold on to the sunshine in the southeast now, the reason for this unsettled spell is low pressure. This one out in the Atlantic will gradually get closer and closer as we move towards the end of the week, so it's going to feed in bands of rain or showers at times all the way through the next three or four days. Some of those showers could turn out to be heavy and quite blustery as well. Now, this evening, those showers will continue. They tend to be becoming more isolated, though. And then in the southwest, another band of more persistent rain starts to move in, and that band will gradually cross the more southern counties of England through the night, some heavier bursts in here as well, to lie across East Anglia and the southeast of England first thing tomorrow morning. So underneath that blanket of cloud, a mild night in the south, but further north with the slightly clearer skies between 8 and 10 degrees. Then the forecast through into Wednesdays to see some more persistent rain leave the eastern side of England, some drier weather here, but then a scattering of showers elsewhere, and some of those showers could turn out to be heavy. That's all from me. Have a good afternoon.